City staff Anytime. are providing an update on upcoming Don Valley Parkway and King Street West lane closures, so we will listen in live to that now. At this point, I'm going to turn it over to Jennifer Graham Harkness to talk about uh, some updates on the King Street work. Thank you, Roger, and thank you, everybody. Um, so I'm Jennifer Graham Harkness. I'm the Chief Engineer for the City of Toronto, and I'm here today to provide a brief update on our King Street project. It involves water main replacement and TTC uh, streetcar track uh, replacement as well. It's taking place between Dufferin Street and Shaw Street. So the work is continuing and progressing well, uh, and we are a few days ahead of schedule. So since Feb mid-February, we have had traffic reduced to one lane between Dufferin Street and Shaw Street uh, in each direction for the project. The next phases of the work will result in additional lane closures. So starting Monday, April 22nd, until approximately Sunday, April 28th, uh, the westbound lanes on King Street uh, between Dufferin Street and Joe Schuster Way will be closed and one eastbound lane will be open. And then from Monday, April 29th, until uh, TTC track replacement work will be starting. Uh, and again, that will be a couple of days ahead of schedule. Uh, as we've shared before, the TTC track work will be completed in phases with full road closures uh, in effect around a rolling work zone. So we're going between block to block uh, and it will take place until September. The first closure will be from May, uh, Monday, April 29th until approximately uh, Tuesday, May 21st, during which time King Street West will be fully closed from Mowat Avenue, or Mo Mowat Avenue until Fraser Avenue. Uh, and then the 2024 work, again, it's progressing well. We're, right now, it's on target to be done in November. And so um, that's the construction update. Roger's going to give us a little more information about what we're doing in terms of traffic management. Thanks, Jennifer. We recognize that this is happening at a time when there are a number of other construction projects on the go in the downtown really impacting traffic and particularly the Gardner Lane closures. And I just want to assure everyone that we have a very detailed congestion traffic management plan uh, that is in effect to basically help uh, keep all residents moving. So in particular, um, you know, we are going to be looking at our traffic signals, monitoring the conditions and making adjustments. Um, specifically with respect to the King Street work that's uh, starting on Monday and as Jennifer mentioned, going to be moving to the full closures uh, by the end of this month. Uh, we're going to be modifying traffic signal timings to almost 60 traffic signals within the city, um, particularly along Dundas Street West, uh, Bathurst Street to the east, Lakeshore Boulevard to the south and Roncesville Avenue to the west. In addition to that, uh, obviously, as I mentioned before, we're going to continue to monitor the situation and make adjustments to those signal times as required. As you're aware, uh, TTC has already been diverted on to Queen Street, and we've already implemented a number of parking uh, amendments, specifically no stopping anytime, to basically help uh, TTC accommodate them on, uh, on their diversion. Uh, we are going to be adding some additional variable message signs to basically provide advanced information to motorists en route and to help them navigate uh, the ongoing construction. In addition, we're going to have both traffic agents and paid duty officers deployed as well at a number of locations. And again, uh, as you've seen before in the past, we have monitored and we have the ability to quickly pivot and redeploy the traffic agents as we see fit. Um, we are going to be implementing uh, towards the special events the latter part of this year um, a no-fly zone over the area, basically restricting any sort of uh, utility construction work in the area. We really want to keep the, const the construction work in the area down to a minimum to only the critical essential construction work that absolutely has to happen. And I do want to also just uh, remind everyone about the new traffic event management planning team that we have. So this is a team of staff that are dedicated to providing traffic management planning exercises around any of the special events that we have coming uh, forth this year. We ask people to consider alternate routes and leave extra time for the journey. And again, we appreciate everyone's patience while we get this important work completed to keep Toronto moving. On that note, I'll open the floor to any questions that you have. Uh, Roger, just in general, uh, Gardner Construction has been on now for a few weeks. Now you're adding on a couple, couple of other things. Just what's your general message to the people of Toronto who maybe uh, are a bit frustrated or wondering why all these things have to be done kind of at the same time? What's just your kind of message to the people? Yeah, no, we really understand and appreciate your frustration. Uh, we know how no one likes congestion, but at the end of the day, the construction that's going on is critical construction on infrastructure that absolutely needs to happen. 
Um, on one hand, we're doing as much as we can to try to mitigate those impacts, but at the same extent, this is why we really try to implore everyone to try to plan your trips in advance uh, to make sure that uh, you can get to your destinations on time. Roger, can you clarify what happened to the sign that was damaged on the DVP? What happened there and what's, what's the safety risk? Uh, so our understanding, it was a maintenance work that was ongoing, and the sign was inadvertently hit and damaged. Um, my understanding at this point is that there's no immediate uh, structural impact or, or, or impacts, this sort of thing. That being said, we absolutely want to get our crews out there as soon as possible to get that work rectified, and hence the reason why uh, we've got that closure plan for tonight, uh, with, with the hopes of minimizing impacts on traffic. Okay, we've been listening live there to city staff giving an update on some of the construction projects around the city, particularly King Street West. Uh, they say that uh, they're actually ahead of schedule by a few days, but that means more lane closures and full closures are coming toward King Street West by the end of this month.